Hello, welcome to my channel. This is Lisa with an E, and I am participating in a challenge that was issued by Mrs. V. Um, this is a virtual vision board challenge, and she issued this challenge back um, about a week or so ago to upload on the 2nd, January 2nd, 2018. And she wanted you to prepare a vision board. You could show it, you could talk about it um, for the year of 2018. Um, normally, I, I do goal setting every year. I kind of set goals for myself um, at the beginning of the year. Um, not necessarily New Year's resolutions because a lot of times I set my goals um, the, the month or two before. Like, in November and December, I start planning on um, things that I haven't accomplished and then like steps on where I either fell short or if I add it back to my list, things that, that I actually want to accomplish and what will it take to get me there. Um, for instance, if I decide that I want to save um, $5,000 at the end of the year, how can I break that up into weekly paychecks um, to get to that amount? And so that's usually how I structure my goals or structure things that I actually want to accomplish. There are things that I have what I call on my bucket list that I don't have um, per se a goal, uh, like a time set for them. There are things that I just want to do like... Um, I want to um, touch down in all 50 states. I don't know, just something I want to do. I like to travel. Um, I like to see new things. I like to see new cultures. I like to see how people do stuff different from where I'm at to where they're at. Um, I think it gives you a more rounded perspective on life when you see other people living other ways, doing other things. So, with that being said... Um, I have things that I have on my big vision board of things that I just want to do in this lifespan, however long it may be. And then I have goals that are specific and are date driven and they have measurable amounts. And so um, if it's the $5,000, I just don't put, I want to um, save money. It's, I want to save a certain amount. And then I know how many chunks and years or whatever that takes to get to that. So, you kind of get my drift. But anyway, um, with that being said, let's get into my vision board for 2018. This vision board is um, a breakdown of a bigger vision board. I have, like I said, a bigger vision board of things that I want to do in my lifetime and some of these items are things that I need to accomplish to get to the bigger picture. So um, for this year, most of the things that are on this vision board are measurable or the things that I think that I can accomplish if I put my mind to it. So I'm going to show you my vision board and then kind of just go over. Um, I think I only have like five items on here just to show you, just to kind of go over um, why I'm doing what I'm doing and how I think I'm going to accomplish it. So here it is. Okay, so for 2018, um, I have to save $5,000 for my emergency reserve. Um, I have an emergency reserve and I want to put $5,000 into it for this year. And so, again, that's one of those areas where I just kind of broke it down. How much money do I need to put away per week in order to meet that goal at the end of the year? And I have my reserve savings kind of out of the way because I'm one of those people, I'm not as disciplined as I'd like to be. And so I have an account where I put money into and it's done automatically so that I don't have to think about it and it's not money that I pull on for frivolous stuff. So that has helped me to stay accountable and it has also helped me to build the savings. And so um, hopefully my goal is to have enough of that savings where it just gives me the financial freedom 
security and peace of mind that I don't have to worry about my day to day, um, like, you know, losing a job or getting ill, those things that happen that you have no control over. But if you have money put away, you can draw from that instead of depending on someone else to take care of you in your time of need. Um, I have three credit cards that I want to pay off this year. Um, I have accumulated a little debt with buying the new house and decorating and doing other things that I didn't really mean to do. But my lack of discipline allowed me to swipe my card. So I'm going to get control over that and get those three cards paid off. And again, I know what those balances are so I can break them up over the year and how much money I need to put on these credit cards, pay them down, and uh, make sure that the interest doesn't accumulate and push me into another year. So that's another one of my focuses. And then I have, um, because we did purchase a new house last year, um, and the landscaping was not to my desired taste, I am going to um, take care of the start prepping the yard like I'm we're gonna remove all of the dead shrubbery and um, clean it up and then I think I'm just going to kind of plot it out on what areas that I may be able to do myself my husband and I um, to save money and then the other areas where we know that we want somebody professional to come in and trench and dig and set up that kind of stuff but for the yard maintenance and maybe um, like taking rocks out of one area and putting them in another, there's some things that we can do. And so that's what I want to do this year. Um, clean it up, get rid of all the dead stuff and start getting it into the stage of where somebody else can come in and take over and kind of revive this backyard and make it something that I enjoy being in. So. Uh, and, and, you know, that just kind of helps me to enjoy my home more because I'm loving the inside. And so I want to be able to love the outside too. And then the other thing I have on my list is I want to take a vacation somewhere new. Um, I, I just think, like I said, I love to travel. I love being in new spaces, new places, meet new people. And so this just kind of helps to live life. Um, and so take a vacation somewhere new it adds to my list of maybe the 50 states that's on my bucket list to do all 50 states. So we'll take a trip somewhere in a state that we've never been in before, see what that state has to offer. So that's my 2018 goals, things that I want to do, things that I want to accomplish. And I think it is a very doable list now to something happen where it throws a wrench in there then I'll tweak it a little bit and maybe add it to my 2019 list but this list is actually doable for me and I'll probably accomplish everything on the list so I want to thank Mrs. V for um, inviting it, it was an open invite so um, and you know doing the challenge and hosting it to um, invite i appreciate the invite i will leave her link below and you can go check out her channel and check out the playlist that she has set up and i i'm very supportive of uh new youtubers because uh even though i'm not an old youtuber um i know when i first started how um just reaching out to other youtubers and trying to you know make this a thing where you know you you feel comfortable and you're doing what you want to do and and you're sharing and you you know you're wondering what lives you're touching etc cetera, etc cetera. so um one of my my goals is to help other people I, you may not be at the top of the spectrum um but if you're not at the bottom you always can lift a hand down to lift somebody up to where you're at and so on and so on and i just believe in that so I believe in networking. I believe in helping out um, anybody new to the scene. And so I know Miss V's channel is not an 
an old channel she actually started probably some months ago and so um for those people that are part of my channel go check her out just see if uh her content is something that you enjoy and um you know personalities you know we mix and we do what we do so if this is if if your her channel is something that you enjoy please go over there and subscribe and support her channel so i thank you all for watching this video i hope to have many more for this year um, i actually am going to put a little bit more time and energy now that i'm settled into my house into my new youtube channel so for all of you that have been with me thank you thank you thank you for all of you that are new to my channel, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'd love to have you be a part of my family. Thanks for watching. Toodles.